by George. I think I got it. Or should I say, boy, George. I mean, I am talking about a culture club. All right, all right. Corny as charged. But there is something to that. The culture club, the culture of winning. The lacrosse coaches at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill will tell you as much. Coach Joe Bresci has the Tar Heels in Philadelphia this weekend for the semifinals of the NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championship. UNC coach Jenny Levy has her squad nearby in Chester, Pennsylvania in the NCAA Women's Lacrosse Championship. And right about now, UNC Athletics Director Bubba Cunningham is feeling good because this past November, UNC beat Syracuse to win the title in Atlantic Coast Conference field hockey. Later that month, Syracuse beat UNC to win the NCAA championship in that sport, but there the Tar Heels were playing for another championship. December rolled around. And UNC football coach Larry Fedora had the Tar Heels in the ACC title game and in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Now, the Tar Heels lost both games, but the point is they were competing for championships. In early April, the men's basketball team won the ACC tournament. They had a shot at the national championship until Villanova's Chris Jenkins made confetti rain all over the place with that winning three-pointer at the buzzer. And in late April, the UNC women's tennis team won the ACC championship. Bresci said he tells his lacrosse players to pick the brains of athletes on other teams at UNC tells them to find out what makes them so successful he said he does that with UNC's coaches and even Fedora with all of his football play calling said he ain't too proud to beg and get advice from UNC's championship coaches hey that's how you get down in the culture club I'm John McCann